Yeah, it's time to go to jail, boys. Yeah, there was like a... it seemed like a bigger guy. We did, you know, we, we did see you guys. You know, us bracers, we do some shit that normal people don't do. Oh my, what? That's your client, you know? <laughs> well, shit. Okay. <laughs> I guess we're fucked. I mean, I don't care about him. But we don't want him to die. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh, so it really didn't matter at all. the tears and crap. Agate is pretty cool sometimes. He can be a dick. Oh my god, they shot him. Oh, okay. He's bleeding. <laughs> I forgot that he actually gets shot. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think they're fucking around. I mean, he looks like he had a pretty good life. I don't think you should kill him, but... Isn't that where you need to leave? Like, how are you going to get out of here? Oh, fuck you, man. Like, you're much better. Where are you going? Are you gonna jump off the lighthouse? Oh yeah, but oh yeah, the rope. Of course there's a fucking rope. Jesus Christ. I'd really appreciate if you stay with us. Agate, you don't, you want, you, you don't want to do anything crazy. Agate! Oh, fuck. Um, I don't think we're supposed to go with him. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if this matters. I, I want to check. I don't think this matters. Alright, me too! <laughs>
Yeah, we're gonna have to leave it up to Ogata. I really don't think that choice matters, but... If it does, I guess I'll have to restart this whole thing. <laughs> Well, I have saved, so I can just go back and do it off screen, but that'd be a bitch. Yeah, that, that must have sucked. <laughs> yeah, we all make mistakes. I wouldn't even call that a mistake. It was just like you were caught off guard. Yeah, that was pretty good. I mean, he is Heavy Blade Agate, so... He ta he literally talks about having a heavy blade like every time you talk to him. I talked to him, I took him out to dinner once, he was talking about having a heavy blade to the waiter. He was like, yo, check out my heavy blade, and he just fucking destroyed the table. He's fine, he's a great guy. <laughs> Yeah, you know, he'll be okay. He's five levels over us. He's alright. He'll he'll make it somehow. And if he doesn't, well Rip Heavy Blade Agate. <laughs> we'll remember him as he was. The guy who screamed, check out my heavy blade every fucking five seconds. So they did keep the money. Well, they they have the money. So that's good. I guess the I guess Gilbert had it. All right. So now we can get going over to Ruin. I really want to get before we get going. I want to go ahead and. We got some stuff for CP. I want to up Estelle's CP. And we also got that one that, like, does a lot of CP. Do I still have that? I don't even know if I have that. It was the potluck thing. Oh, well. I'll get her to... I'll just give her all that. And that's a little over 100, so that's fine. And also, what else was I gonna... Oh yeah, I wanted to check the recipe for that. Oh yeah, here it is. I could have made it. Oh well. Um, it was the jelly beans. We need some maple sugar. Clear gelatin. Fungus. Okay. Might be something for another time. So now we need to head over to Ruin. Oh man. What a night. Let's go. Oh, there's a cutscene out here. I was going to cut this. <laughs> yeah, Dalmore, probably not the greatest guy. Yeah, but we have evidence. We have literally the guy, his right-hand man, 
We caught him. He's in jail. He confessed. I mean, I know it won't be easy, but we have we have the upper hand here. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. Cuz cuz the guild isn't just like just a libero thing. It's for um Crossbell, I believe, and and the Erebonian Empire, like, it's all over the place. I guess, like, the rule is, though, you can't interfere with government affairs. You need to be strictly a neutral party. Yeah, man. It's still with our great one-liners. Okay. So we need to try and catch the mayor, because he's a dick. And I think I'm just going to teleport over to Ruin. So I'll see you guys there. What's up, Chloe? You were just on our way back to Ruin. Yeah, we're going to the guild. Oh no, don't go. Oh. No, we need you, Chloe. Literally, we need you. You're the best healer. I mean, that's fair. But we need you, Chloe. <laughs> Why are you saying I'm sorry? What are you doing? Well, she's doing something. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. It's a tad of a major incident. <laughs> Well, let's fucking do it. I know, I know that's like hard to do, but let's do it. Are we allowed to do that? I mean, yeah, I, I can buy some time, but... Are we allowed to do that? <laughs> I'm starting to realize now how, like... Like, how thin of a line the Bracer Guild is. Like... We can do a lot of things to help the people and, like... Like, for, for the most part, bracers are just to help people and, you know... Take care of small jobs and maybe fight some monsters and stuff. There really isn't any need for them to go beyond... Just that. To, from helping people. Or maybe there's never been an incident that has warranted them to... 
get to a point where they need to like step in on government affairs and stuff like that. It's pretty crazy. Good to have you back. Good to have you black, Chloe. <laughs> Good to have you back. Yeah, you really fucking ran. This seems like the worst idea in the world, but let's do it. Who knows, maybe you won't have a gun or whatever. <laughs> what if the mayor is a gun? Has anyone thought about that? Alright, so it looks like Jean is going to be contacting the Royal Army because they are really the only ones who can do anything about the mayor. And we gotta go actually talk to the mayor himself and hopefully not die. So let's see how that goes. That'd be fun. If we die, well, know me as I was. A fucking dumbass. And I mean me, not not a stellar Joshua. I mean mayors tend to have a pretty nice place. I think the only one who doesn't is a uh, Rolent's mayor. Cuz Rolent is a pretty um, you know, rural place. Oh, he's from a noble family? I totally forgot about that. <laughs> well, let's go find him and do some questions. Hey. We need to talk to the mayor. Have you seen him? Flora? Oh, is he? Well, maybe we'll just uh, kick the door down and talk to him anyway. Oh. I hate the Duke. How did you know that? <laughs> Joshua, you're so good! Joshua pulling out all the stops. Good looks. Good talking. You know everything. And I think if he didn't do that side quest, the um, thing wouldn't be in the middle. I think it would be missing. Yeah, seriously. I guess that's true. I mean, he'd probably be like the number one guy to buy it. 
That was like a really fucking big assumption though. Like if you were wrong, you would have been fucked. <laughs> Jesus, Joshua. Oh, and they were making trouble. Man, Joshua is so good. Man, like... You want someone to pull at straws? Like, Joshua pulls every single straw and then some. He finds the ones at the bottom that have been cut. Joshua is way too fucking good. So let's go upstairs. See if we can meet up with some guy. Hey look, it's Daria! Well, I think I'm gonna make a small cut here and then we're gonna head in there. So I'll be back in a sec. Alright, let's do this. Going in, hey Duke. He's fucking drinking. It's the morning. Like this is taking place at, in the morning. Yeah, fuck this guy. Yeah, you, you should probably talk to the queen first before being fucking stupid. I'm really sick of this guy. I fucking hate him. That is not true. That is not what a king does. I mean, that's what bad kings do if you're bad, but... Oh yeah, but first, one more drink, just to, just to finish it off. Just to get him a little bit more drunk. So everything's good to go. <laughs> Here comes Estelle. <laughs> yeah, you stole our room. And also we met you at the um, checkpoint. And you were a dumbass. At least Philip is pretty cool. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's have you, um, like, talk shit about us. Let's have you give us a lecture. Well, you're burning homes down for orphans. <laughs> Fuck you, Dalmore. I intend a full amount of disrespect. <laughs> Yeah, come on, let's just, let's talk about it, bro. It's totally fine. Maybe the Duke will have something to add. It's, it's exactly Estelle. Let's just have him stay here. I have no problems with this. Do 
Gee, I wonder why. Huh. Man, I wonder why she got attacked last night. I really can't think of a reason. The attackers did get away. Yeah, yeah. We we have an idea. We have a we have a tad bit of an idea. <laughs> Still. I agree. I agree, Mayor Dalmore. <laughs> Estelle, come on. Play along a little bit, at least. Oh yes, the Ravens! Yes! Oh my god, Dalmore, you're so right! It was the Ravens! I'm gonna fucking punch him in the face. Lay it on him, Estelle. Okay, so you do have a choice here. Obvious choice is obvious. Yep. We have fucking proof. We have evidence. So what you got, brother? Do you have anything to combat this? How did you know? How did you know they wore black clothes? We, we didn't say anything. Just keep digging, bro. Just keep digging. Just keep digging. <laughs> Oh my god, I love this. Yeah, you can, you can call us whatever you like, but we have the facts here. We have evidence against you, and you have nothing to prove that we're wrong. So, we can take this to court. We can, or we can just take you straight to jail. That, that works too. Well, considering that you did, and we have evidence of it... Um, I don't know, you tell us. <laughs> I have no idea who's entering. Oh, it's Niall! I was like, what the fuck? Who's entering? <laughs> oh, well, cool. Good to see you. Oh, you know, that's just Niall, a reporter with Liberal News. I didn't- oh my god, I forgot his last name is Burns. That's such a reporter name.
Oh yeah, funds for the expansion project that you stole. Of course. Oh, the Calvert Republic. Ooh, man. Oh, yes, you were sightseeing more than uh, three times a year, probably. <laughs> sure. So he just wanted to make bank with basically the taxes of the town. Probably all of it. Oh, 100 million Mira, yeah. Man, you're fucking stupid. Yeah. Yeah, that that would be a reason. So it doesn't look like you have much of a excuse out of that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't even think the Duke has that much. How did no one notice that he was taking front funds from the city, though? I mean, I guess, like, he didn't need to say anything, but that's kind of fucked up. And by kind of, I mean fully fucked up. I mean, we have proof that you, um, that you hired the guys to take care of the orphanage. So we, we do have proof of that. We have this, we have the steward who can basically confirm everything if we torture him enough. So. Oh, you're getting mad, of course. When you get mad, that means, you know, we're right. I mean, we don't have the authority, but I'm sure someone will in a second. Hopefully. John, you better do your goddamn job. What, because we caught you, you're gonna, like, shit on us? Okay. Man. You're a really great mayor. Got fucking nothing on Maybell. Oh, shit. That would require him to actually move out of his house and lose credibility as a mayor, though.
Yeah, you're 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 as bad as the Duke. <laughs> no offense, Duke. I know you're sitting right there, but you're kind of shit. But at least you didn't fucking like get into a hundred million mirror debt. So. Are you just gonna run away? Oh, you have a secret hole! You have a secret hole in your fucking home! Oh, what do you got back there? Oh, you got big dogs in your whole house! Where did you get those dogs? <laughs> Jesus Christ, bro. He's dead. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sure no one will see that. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's kind of a lunatic. Jesus Christ, that was expensive wine, man. That was some expensive drank. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> yeah. I mean, now we have him on attempted murder, so... I think we're good. <laughs>